Hello Tinkerers and welcome to today's build. Special request today is to build the Shanghai Tower, tallest building in China. It is quite a difficult building because it's got this twist in it all the way from the top to the bottom. And it goes from one side about 180 degrees to the other side. And that's really important as we build up this shape. So how are we going to do that? Well first we're going to look at the floor plan of a building. This is a basic floor plan of a building. It's kind of a curved triangle shape. So we've got to recreate this and then we can recreate each floor individually. So going back to Tinkercad, how are we going to do that? It's not going to be in the basic shapes. It's going to be using one of my favorite tools and favorite shapes is the extrusion. So bring the extrusion on and then I'm going to have a play around with the extrusion to get that triangle shape, three sides of a building. So let's move it up and play around with this and kind of try and get an even three dimension. If I want to look from the top, look at that from the top that's pretty much the shape I'm looking for so let's jump back into basic shapes and just grab a box to hole and what I'm going to use this hole for is to cut out a little notch because it's got a perfect corner for me so I can use the arrow keys to adjust if I want to put a bigger notch in looking closer that looks perfect for me so select both of them shapes by clicking and holding creating red box and group and I'll take out a little notch out of my building perfect well that's a big floor for me so what I want to do is bring this right down to create a floor so I'm going to take it all the way down not from 20 all the way down to two two there we go so I've got my floor plan that is what I'm going to do so then I'm going to look at how I'm going to build that up and how I'm going to get it to twist slowly as I put a layer upon layer perfect floor plan compared to the one I've got here so what do I want to do now I want to select that I want to duplicate it and then I want to move it up to and I also want to rotate it to. So up to, rotate to. And that creates a nice little slow spiral. So let's do that again. One more time. Select it, duplicate, bring it up to. So it's now on four. And rotate to. This time I'm not going to deselect it. I'm going to just press duplicate. And then therefore the computer knows what I'm doing and it will do it for me. So there you go. Look. It's Rotating two and bringing the next one up to and then I can keep clicking 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 and it's creating this slow Rotation this slow spiral all the way up the building Look at that. Let's zoom out. It's creating this spiral and I want to rotate it about 180 degrees So keep going keep going keep going. It's rotating round Ideal look at that There we go until I think that is looking perfect look at it from all angles it's creating the Shanghai Skyline Tower. Look at that. I am very happy with that. So I've created a basic shape of the Shanghai Tower. All the way up from top to bottom. So look at that. Looking good so far. I've got this notch running around all the tower. I've got this twist going on. So what's next? Well, let's just look at the colour and uh, build up. It is a very clear building. And then every so often we've got these bands looking like two floors going all the way up a building. So let's get that color going into the building right now. So I'm going to select them all. I'm going to look at my colors. I'm looking for a nice clear color. So I'm going to go for a light gray. And then each band, I want to have a darker gray. And let's say every 12th floor. So I'm going to go down to the bottom. I'm going to count up 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 10, 11, 12, and then I'm going to do two darker floors. So let's have two dark floors, or so two bands in my darker floors. And I continue at all the way up the building, counting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and two darker floors. There we go. All the way up until you get to the top. Off you go. Here we go. Look at that. How wonderful does that look? It's looking like the Shanghai skyline already. All right, let's take this top down. So if we have a look at the top of the Shanghai Tower, it has this void in and it has this spiral up. And the void starts at the notch. So if we can look at it from here, where the notch reaches is that's where the void and this cut starts. 
So how are we going to do that? First, we need to create a void. So I'm going to take the top shape. I'm going to duplicate the top shape. And then I'm going to shrink it. So it's about 21 by 19. So I'm going to hold shift so it scales all together. I'm going to bring it right down and lose about four. So I get a nice thick wall. And I'm going to bring it nice and tall. So it's going to sit in the middle. And then I'm going to select the outside shape, top shape, and my shape there. And then I'm going to align them. So I'm going to bring them in the middle and in the middle. So I've got that one in the middle. Looking good. So then now, how many floors do I want it to go down? Think about it, each floor is two. So if I was to sit that on top, just like that, and how many floors do I want it to go down? I want it to go down, let's have a look at the left. Let's say about six floors. So six times two is 12. So I'm gonna make this 12 high. Oh, there you go, automatically done. So I make that a hole, and then I'm going to bring that directly down. So click on it and directly move it down 12. Minus 12, there you go. Now it's sitting inside Shanghai Tower. And I'm going to group all this together. So a big red square over all of it. Group. There you go, let's have a look. Here we go, I've got my void in the top. How wonderful is that looking? So it's made it all gray again, so I can just select it. Select on the shape and tick the multicolor and then it'll put in my shading back into the building. Okay, so that's looking fantastic. Now, what do I want to do? I want to create this spiral on the top of the building. So this goes up all the way, spirals up from top to bottom and it starts at the notch. So that is crucial. So what I want to do, so I want to start going looking for the shape I'm looking for, this spiral. So I could use something like this, like a spring I could start searching. What I found is a really good one. It is in shape features, but I've uh, pre-selected as my favorite is a semi butcher thread. So I'm going to use a semi butcher thread because at the end of the day, it's solid all the way through. So even if I make a few errors, it will correct it for me. And what I can do with this one is I can work out how tall my building is. My building is 168. So I've taken 12 of that, so it's 156. So I need to first Make sure my thread is nice and thick because it's going to hopefully be a removal. And then I'm going to bring it up 156, straight up. 156, perfect. And then I'm going to put it over my building and make sure it's nice and wide. Here we go. Use my arrow keys to adjust if I need to. Perfect. And then what I want to do is I want to rotate it so my bottom, my notch, is in my notch line. So if I zoom in a little bit, you see here, I want this bottom bit in lower notch. So I'm just going to rotate it around until I've got the bottom of it in my notch line. Perfect. Excellent. And then I want the top, I think it's just done it perfectly for me, the top of a building wants to come out of the bottom of a first spiral because I want just a complete spiral up to the top of the first building. So first off, I'm gonna make that a hole, and then I'm going to duplicate it and bring it up a little bit. So I'm just gonna bring up the next one a little bit. And if I keep that selected or duplicated, brings up another one, brings up another one. So it's going to take out all of that out of my notch line. Let's see what happens. So select them all, big red square over all of them. Group, and let's see what happens. There we go, how good does that look? Look at that, there we go. It's got the steps and everything up from top to bottom to the notch line. That is looking ideal. Just like that on the top. There we go, we have got pretty much the Shanghai Tower. Now, a few bonus features we could possibly add. If we look at the Shanghai Tower, it has this gold thing at the bottom. It's a shopping center right at the bottom and it's kind of this oval uh, curved shape. So what I can do is go back into basic shapes, bring on a red box, stretch out this red box and flatten it a bit so it's kind of in the same scale as my Shanghai Tower. There we go, and then I could change the radius and look what the radius does. If I bring the radius up, it curves off this shape for me. So what it's gonna do is I'm gonna get it to curve off this shape. I'm gonna put it 
roughly where I think it should look. So it's kind of like that on the bottom of a Shanghai tower. So I'm going to create this round. I mean, so it's definitely gold. So I select. Let's make it nice and you know, maybe that's more of a gold. There we go, a nice gold. And if I look at the bottom, it's actually sitting on around it. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to bring it slightly below the surface. There we go. And then I'm going to cut off this bottom surface. A nice easy trick to do that. Grab a box hole, put that over everything, and then just take the bottom and move it below. And then that'll just cut off the bottom, so give it a nice perfect flat edge. So let's bring everything together, select it all, group it. And let's look at that. There we go. We have a Shanghai Tower. Very happy with that. Looking absolutely amazing. One of the iconic buildings of China. Good luck with that, Tinkerers. I'd love to see your results.